For many kids, childhood means model rockets, launched not by fuel, but by imagination. Well, Blue Origin and SpaceX have turned that childhood dream into a ticket to the stars. But unless you're a celebrity or you're wealthy, that ticket might as well be a ticket to Oz. So we must ask ourselves, can space tourism truly be engineered for everyone? Hello, circuiteers. Right now, for many, space travel is a fantasy with a six-figure price tag. But engineering has a habit of taking the improbable and scaling it into many different possibilities. This past April, Blue Origin launched its first all-female crew. Some of the notable celebrities on board included Katy Perry, Gail King, and Lauren Sanchez. The flight was a milestone for space tourism, one that had its fair share of headlines. A total of 11 minutes floating around in their designer space suit. And while the discourse around the celebrity outing to the stars reverberated around the world, us non-celebrities can also book a seat on Blue Origin 2. Well, it'll only require a $150,000 refundable deposit. One giant leap for mankind? Friends, this is more like one giant leap for your savings account. But Blue Origin is working to change that hefty price tag eventually with New Shepard, a fully reusable rocket designed for human flight. No pilots, just engineered precision. New Shepard soars over 60 miles high. At the peak, the capsule separates, giving passengers a moment of weightlessness. Then it falls back gracefully as it reignites its engine, finally landing at six miles per hour, which is slower than the speed of a cyclist. The booster, the capsule, parachutes, engine, nearly every component of New Shepard is reusable, unlike some of its famous predecessors. Not to mention, New Shepard is fueled with clean hydrogen and oxygen. If the goal of the powers that be at Blue Origin is access, then the strategy of the engineers at Blue Origin is reusability. If Blue Origin is the private jet of space travel, then SpaceX is building the space bus of space travel, big and built for scale to make orbit ordinary. Their solution? Starship. Starship is the most powerful rocket system ever engineered. 400 feet tall, fueled by methane and oxygen, and designed to refuel in space. Its payload, 100 to 150 metric tons. And its ambition? Interplanetary. Engineered to return to Starbase, both the booster and the ship aren't just landing, they're caught midair by a towering steel giant called Mechazilla. No relation to this guy here. Engineers switched from carbon fiber to stainless steel, not because it's pretty, but because it's cheap, durable, and heat resistant. Smart choices made by engineers to build a system that scales. Designed to carry up to 100 people on long duration interplanetary flights, SpaceX is actively developing Starship with the goal of eventually sending passengers and cargo to Mars. On October 13, 2024, Starship Flight 5 reached orbit, returned, and was ready to be reused again. This is science fiction, but this isn't a movie. This is how design meets engineering, and engineering eventually leads to accessibility for all. If engineers can eventually make space tourism cost-effective for everyone, then one day those rockets may become roads to luxury space hotels. If you're dreaming about sleeping under the the stars literally then meet above. Formerly Orbital Assembly, they are designing luxury space hotels, Voyager and Pioneer stations. To create gravity, the stations rotate, like water spinning in an upside down bucket. The spin pushes guests towards the outer ring, simulating Earth-like conditions. Because in orbit, engineering imitates gravity beautifully. From weightless basketball to freeze-dried ice cream, every corner will be engineered for experience and for adaptability. And above, partnered with NASA back in 2023 to not just build space hotels, but orbital business parks, labs, factories, and habitats. And while pricing is still being discussed, someday everyone should be able to afford a room with a view like this. Access isn't just about costs, it's an engineering challenge. And you know what engineers do best, circuiteers. You guessed it, they solve problems.
New Shepard built the prototype, a Starship engineered to scale. Above is designing the destination. And together, engineers are turning childhood wonders into access for all. So one day, that child in the field won't have to dream it, they can book it. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. Hey, wait, don't leave me. I thought boarding was in five minutes. Don't go. And a special thank you to the Ming-Shei Institute at USC Viterbi for making this episode possible.